This sounds really weird, doesn't it? No, no, I think it's really sweet you're doing this for her. Really? Yeah. When I was eight years old, I joined an acting school, and at the end of our two-year program, we got to make a film. I was a little interested in being behind the camera, so I asked to hold the boom and to help out with sound a little bit, and I really fell in love with it. And so, for their future projects for other classes, I helped out with holding the camera, and if I was lucky, I would help write a little bit. That really sparked my interest in filmmaking, and for high school, I went to Orange County School of the Arts in California, where we had access to the best equipment and the most amazing teachers that taught us how to be in the industry and to make films. And then I decided it was probably time to make my own film, and thus I made Overreacting. I would describe Overreacting as a glimpse into a moment where you hope no one's watching when you're doing something that you definitely don't want to do. Overreacting is definitely a comedy, and I wrote it because I love to make people laugh. My favorite filmmakers are Steven Spielberg, Nancy Myers, and Laura Donner. They make films that last, and that is something that I truly aspire to do, to make films that make people laugh, and that are classics and will be remembered forever. If I had a good budget, I would love to make a family comedy. I want it to be campy, I want it to be something that the adults can love and that the kids can laugh at too. Something that everyone can take something away from. I am a big believer in making sure that productions run smoothly. Time is money, so I would make sure that I have a killer production team and we would have a calendar with the shots for each day and an amazing first AD on set that can help us keep on track and make things happen. The hardest part about making overreacting was the deadline. This was a college application project, and each college had different expectations of what they wanted my film to be. Some five minutes, some two minutes with no dialogue. So I had to make sure that no matter what cut, I was not sacrificing the integrity of the film. I have so many projects that I'm currently working on. I am at Chapman University for film, and I'm currently just trying to grow as a filmmaker so that I can make these big projects happen.